Italia in Bristol tonight and I have ordered gluten-free carbonara. It came incredibly quickly. Um, I was really impressed with their service and I'm quite enjoying the Bella Italia vibe because the majority of their pasta is gluten-free which is really, really awesome. We're about to go to a show so I'll finish this later. have a lot to say today so this is gonna be a real quick one I had a really bad eating day today I didn't have breakfast and I had a Starbucks falafel wrap for lunch at like 4 p.m. but it was gluten-free and I also had a gluten-free brownie from Starbucks and then John and I went to Bella Italia for dinner and I had a gluten-free carbonara I recommend Bella Italia for gluten-free food they have like the majority of their pasta menu is available as a gluten-free option. No real changes as a result of gluten-freeness. I've had a few comments on my super duper confused video from yesterday which um, have, have been quite encouraging. It is not as hard as I thought it would be and in some ways it's also harder than I thought it would be so cider is good from the point of view of going to the pub and having a drink with some friends. We went to a show last night and um, all went out to the pub afterwards, so I had a cider. John has found a really good list of gluten-free options in Bristol, which we'll probably explore tomorrow. If you'd like to find the next chapter of the journey, then do come back tomorrow. And if you'd like to see any of the previous chapters, because you're new here, first of all, hi! And um, you can find them in my gluten journey, which is my playlist on YouTube for this. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!